coming to the first problem check whether the following are quadratic equations now coming to the second bit which is x square minus 2x is equal to minus 2 times of 3 minus x on the left hand side we, ha we have x square minus 2x this is x square minus 2x and on RHS we have minus 2 times of 3 minus x so minus 2 times of 3 is minus 6 and minus 2 times of minus x is plus 2x so let us transpose the terms on the left hand side to the right hand side then the equation becomes x square minus 2x plus 6 minus 2x is equal to 0 so we can write x square minus 2x and minus 2x becomes minus 4x and plus 6 is equal to 0. We have the general form of quadratic equation as ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. So if we compare this equation with the standard equation, we get a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 4 and c is equal to 6. So the final equation which is x square minus 4x plus 6 is equal to 0 on comparing with ax square plus bx plus c we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation coming to the first problem check whether the following are quadratic equations now coming to the third bit which is x minus 2 times of x plus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times of x plus 3. So on left hand side we have x minus 2 times of x plus 1. This can be written as x multiplied by x plus 1 minus 2 multiplied by x plus 1. And on right hand side we have x minus 1 times of x plus 3 this can be written as x times of x plus 3 minus 1 times of x plus 3 so x times of x plus 1 is x square plus x and minus 2 times of x is minus 2x minus 2 times of 1 is minus 2 and x times of x is x square x times of 3 is 3x and minus 1 times of x is minus 6 and minus 1 times of 3 is minus 3. So on left hand side we have x square plus x and minus 2x it becomes minus x and this is minus 2. And on RHS we have x square plus 3x minus x becomes plus 2x and this is minus 3. Now let us transpose this terms on the right hand side to the left hand side so this becomes minus x square and minus 2x and plus 3 is equal to 0 so x square and x square will be cancelled and minus x minus 2x becomes minus 3x minus 2 plus 3 becomes minus 1 so the final equation obtained is minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0 we know that the general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. But if we notice the final equation is minus 3x minus 1 is equal to 0. We don't have any x square coefficient term. So x square is missing in this equation. So we can say that the given equation is not a quadratic equation. Coming to the fourth bit, which is x minus 3 times of 2x plus 1 is equal to x times of x plus 5. So on left hand side we have x minus 3 times of 2x plus 1 and on right hand side we have x times of x plus 5. So this can be written as x times of 2x plus 1 minus 3 times of 2x plus 1 this is equal to x times of x plus 
x times of 2x is 2x square and x times of 1 is x and minus 3 times of 2x is minus 6x minus 3 times of 1 is minus 3 this is equal to x square plus 5x and 2x square plus x and minus 6x becomes minus 5x minus 3 is equal to x square plus 5x on transposing the terms of right hand side to the left hand side we get minus x square minus 5x is equal to 0 so 2x square and minus x square becomes x square minus 5x and minus 5x becomes minus 10x and we have minus 3 so this is equal to 0 the general form of the quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 the final equation obtained is x square minus 10x minus 3 is equal to 0 so if we notice this equation is similar to the general equation so we can say that the given equation is a quadratic equation now coming to the fifth bit which is 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 times of x minus 1 on left hand side we have 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3 this can be written as 2x times of x minus 3 minus 1 times of x minus 3 on right hand side we have x plus 5 times of x minus 1 this can be written as x times of x minus 1 plus 5 times of x minus 1 2x times of x is 2x square and 2x times of minus 3 is minus 6x this becomes minus x and minus 1 times of minus 3 is plus 3 this is equal to x times of x is x square x times of minus 1 is minus x 5 times of x is 5x and 5 times of minus 1 is minus 5 so this is 2x square minus 6x and minus x becomes minus 7x plus 3 is equal to x square minus x plus 5x is plus 4x and this is minus 5 so on left hand side we have 2x square minus 7x plus 3 and on transposing the terms of right hand side to the left hand side we get minus x square and minus 4x plus 5 is equal to 0 2x square and minus x square is x square minus 7x minus 4x is minus 11x plus 3 plus 5 is plus 8 now the equation obtained is x square minus 11x plus 8 is equal to 0 we know that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 if we observe the equation obtained is x square minus 11x plus 8 is equal to 0 this is resembling the general form of the quadratic equation which is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0 we can conclude that the given equation which is 2x minus 1 times of x minus 3 is equal to x plus 5 times of x minus 1 is a quadratic equation. Now coming to the sixth bit which is x square plus 3x plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole square. On left hand side we have x square plus 3x plus 1 and on right hand side we have x minus 2 whole square. We know that a minus b whole square is equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So applying this formula for x minus 2 whole square we get x square 
माइनस फोर एक्स प्लस फोर ऑन लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी हैव एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस थ्री एक्स प्लस वन एंड ट्रांसपोजिंग द राइट हैंड साइड टर्म्स टू द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड वी गेट माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस फोर एक्स माइनस फोर इज इक्वल टू जीरो प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर एंड माइनस एक्स स्क्वायर विल बी कैंसल थ्री एक्स एंड प्लस फोर एक्स बिकम सेवन एक्स प्लस वन एंड माइनस फोर बिकम्स माइनस थ्री सो सेवन एक्स माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो इज द इक्वेशन ऑप्टेन वी नो दैट द जनरल फॉर्म ऑफ ए क्वाड्रेटिक इक्वेशन इज ए एक्स स्क्वायर प्लस बी एक्स प्लस सी इज इक्वल टू जीरो इफ वी ऑब्जर्व द इक्वेशन ऑप्टेन इज सेवन एक्स माइनस थ्री इज इक्वल टू जीरो एंड दिस डज नॉट रिसम्बल the general form of the quadratic equation this is because in the equation obtained x square term is missing but for a quadratic equation the term of the x square is compulsory so we can conclude that the given equation is not a quadratic equation coming to the eighth bit which is x cube minus 4x square minus 6 plus 1 is equal to x minus 2 whole cube we know that a minus b whole cube is equal to a cube minus b cube plus 3a square b minus 3ab square on left hand side we have x cube minus 4x square minus 6 plus 1 and on expanding x minus 2 whole cube by using this formula we get x cube minus 2 cube plus 3 times of a square is x square and b is minus 2 and b is 2 Minus three times of x and two square. We get x cube minus four x square minus six plus one is equal to x cube minus two cube is minus eight plus three times of two is six six times of x square is six x square and two square is four four multiplied by minus three is minus twelve x. On left hand side we have x cube minus four x square minus x plus one, and on transposing the terms of right hand side to the left hand side we get minus x cube plus eight minus six x square plus twelve x is equal to zero. And plus x cube and minus x cube will be cancelled. Minus four x square minus six x square is minus ten x square. Minus x plus twelve x is minus 11x plus 1 and plus 8 is plus 9. This can also be written as 10x square plus 11x minus 9 is equal to 0. So the equation obtained is 10x square plus 11x minus 9 is equal to 0. We know that the general form of a quadratic equation is ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If we notice, the equation obtained is similar to that of the general equation. We can conclude that the given equation is a quadratic equation.